In this lesson, you are going to install Android Studio and get everything set up. So if you are new to Android, you might be asking, what is Android Studio? Android Studio is the official IDE for Android app development. It is based on IntelliJ IDEA. So if you normally code in Java or do other projects with Java frameworks, you must have come across IntelliJ. Before Android Studio, Android apps were built with IDEs such as Eclipse. But today, the best IDE for developing Android apps is Android Studio. I would introduce you to some of the wonderful features that Android Studio has. So coming over here, the website already notices that I'm using a Windows system. But if you go to download options, you will see different packages for different platforms. So for Windows 64 bit, you can download the exe file. If your system is a 32 bit system, you can as well download your version. If you are using a Mac, there is a version for Mac. If you are using Linux, our beloved Linux, you can download your version for Linux. So you have for Windows that 64 bit, 32 bit, you have for Mac 64 bit, and you have for Linux 64 bit. You have the recommended system requirements. For Windows, 4 GB of RAM storage is the minimum. But I would advise you that if you can get at least 8 GB of RAM storage, do get it. Android Studio is known for taking a lot of RAM storage. And if you have a low RAM size, Android Studio may be very slow on your system. If you have been coding in Java, you most likely already have a JDK installed. If for some reason you don't have a JDK installed, you can get JDK from Oracle. Of course, Oracle isn't the only JDK provider. You could also check out Adopt Open JDK. Adopt Open JDK also provides wonderful Open JDK releases. It doesn't matter really where you get your JDK from. It is important, however, that you make sure you install your JDK before going on to install Android Studio. Installing JDK is a straightforward process. If it's a Windows system, double click on the exe file and follow the instructions. Once you're done, you can download the Android Studio file and install it. It is advised that you have a good internet connection when you're installing Android Studio. Why you may ask, when you're installing Android Studio, Android Studio may decide to download some extra files for you to begin developing your apps. In Android Studio, we normally have what we call emulators. So when you're developing Android apps, you might not always have a physical phone to run your application. You could use the emulator inside Android Studio. Android Studio will download the files it needs to easily run the emulator and specific versions of Android. I will go over the different Android versions and how you can decide which version you should use when creating a new project. For now, you can just click next. Of course, Android Studio and Android Virtual Device. Next. And then you install. In the next lesson, we would go over creating a fresh project on Android Studio.